Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for um, the week of May 22nd, I think, somewhere around there. Uh, do I ever know? No. Uh, but we're just going to jump right in here. You have this card that says win-win forecast. Uh, so there could be some sort of win-win here. And, um, you know, you have the two of wands, which is kind of interesting because, you know, let's say that you're trying to create a win-win situation with like another person or even, you know, it could be like your boss or your job or something like that. Um, you know, the two wands would kind of represent needing that maybe you would have to, um, you know, kind of step outside your comfort zone to create a win-win situation, if that makes sense. So, you know, like who knows, like maybe you want more money. Look at this. Here you go. <laughs> you have sudden wealth and wealthy man. It's almost like I knew that was going to come out, uh, you know, and, um, so it's like maybe you want more money and maybe your boss is like, fine, you can have more money, but you have to put in extra hours or you have to do extra work or something like that. Um, so I, I kind of do feel that this is talking about like a negotiation um, that you could be dealing with. Again, it could be in work or business. Um, you know, it could also be a negotiation kind of like in love as well. I know that doesn't sound sexy, but you know, it's like it could be one of those things where maybe you're with a busy person and maybe you want more time with that person. So it could represent, you may, you're not literally negotiating with them, but I feel you're kind of expressing your desires, right? You could be saying, I want to spend more time with you or something like that. And that's kind of like what I see here. Uh, this right here is kind of interesting. I feel like this is a lingering situation right here. Uh, five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups to the King of Swords. It's like every single, I've just noticed, um, you know, I don't even think this is a big deal. I feel it's more of an annoyance or an obstacle to overcome that is annoying, <laughs> you know, which could be like, you know, maybe you want to move, but you don't have the money. So it's like, you know, the obstacle, the annoying obstacle would be like needing to make the money. Uh, maybe you want to start a business, but you don't have the money or maybe you don't have the time or, you know, whatever the case may be. It's like that type of obstacle. I hope that makes sense. Uh, that's what's popping into my head here with the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles, you know, this right here forms an anchor right here. You can see those five pentacles, and this is an anchor. It's supposed to be an anchor. So it's almost like something is keeping you stuck or something is um, you know, kind of like weighing you down or keeping you stuck in place in a lot of ways. I always say the solution to the five of pentacles is to not call attention to your weaknesses. So you know, I feel a lot of you, it's kind of like, you know, focusing on your creativity, realizing that you have the power to do something. You know, Nine of Pentacles, she is very empowered and, you know, it doesn't matter what gender you are, but, it's, you know, she is kind of saying to me in this reading that it's like you could have a lot of success, but the, what's the problem? Right here, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, he's slow, he doesn't make progress, and he also doesn't think that he knows what he needs to know, but he actually does. He has these oak leaves on his helmet, which represent knowledge and wisdom in the tarot. He's got these empty fields behind him, and the empty fields behind him basically like say, he could go sow his wild oats, he could go plant his seeds, do whatever he's gotta do, and they will grow, <laughs> because he ha he knows how to do it. And uh, you know, for you, you have the two wands, um, you know, two wands can represent needing to leave a comfort zone. Everybody's been getting the two wands um, just in general. And actually, I just want to check something um, in the astrology, if you don't mind here, um, you know, today with the astrology. I'm just using, uh, if you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using astro.com. I'm looking at the uh, chart of the moment. It's literally like on their front page here. And I don't know if I can get this to zoom in. But I just want to make sure that it's exact what I'm about to say. And um, it is not. But, um, you know, basically, uh, you know, Pluto and um, Venus are going to oppose each other. And uh, we're not quite there yet. And um, this Pluto opposition to Venus, I for some reason, I feel like it starts today. Today is the 16th, right? <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, there's going to be an opposition between Pluto and Venus. And um, that should be happening. That You know, that will be kind of like happening soon. And... Um, you know, just could be very interesting time. It's kind of interesting to me um, that everybody's been getting the two wands. Again, I personally would kind of like say that it could be this Pluto Venus opposition that is requiring us to leave some sort of comfort zone. Pluto is, gonna, is literally retrograding as we speak into Capricorn. And then, you know, Venus is moving forward through Cancer. It's just like, I don't know, just like a weird thing to me. I think there could be a lot of weird things going on in the world at this time as well as I've been talking about. I mean, there will be, you know, mark my words, you know, <laughs> the next the next 20 years is going to blow your mind. But, you know, what I would say here is that I feel like the quickest way to be successful is to leave a comfort zone. Uh, you have the seven of cups here. Too much overthinking, you know in general. Seven of Cups is a good card to me. To me, it's a card of being spoiled for choice, but you know, there could be a lot of like overthinking with it. And you go to the Eight of Cups going this way, 
the eight of cups to the nine of pentacles. It's like walking away from something that no longer serves you is gonna make you more successful. Um, so I literally feel that's what this is kind of like saying here. But uh, can we see where this is going? Uh, with the five of pentacles, you have the five of wands, yes. Five of wands of conflict and competition. Um, you know, sometimes I just think this isn't even like that big of a deal. It's not really talking about conflict and competition. I just think it's saying there, there like isn't a clean way to do what you wanna maybe do. Like if you wanna start a business, you're gonna have to, you know, break a couple of eggs. You have this egg that is literally cracking uh, in the next row. It's like, you know, to make a cake, you gotta break a couple eggs, as they say. And I kind of get that feeling here where it's like not good, it's not bad, but if you have an idea for a new beginning, it could be in any area of your life, could be in work, in business, or whatever, you might have to break some eggs, you know? You might have to uh, do some things that, I'm not talking about bad things here either. I'm just saying, you know, there might be some moments where you have to like take some risks or maybe you have to open your mouth and ask a person for something or, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, with the two of wands, you have the empress. There we go. I'm very happy to see the empress in this reading. Um, you know, with that nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles is like pre-empress energy. And so having the empress literally says that, you know, leaving a comfort zone is gonna break you out of this right here. So, you know, I really feel you're kind of heading towards um, so, like some abundance and success. With the seven of cups, you have the three of pentacles. Something needs to be displayed here. I, I said this to you a few weeks ago. Three of pentacles, you have to remember it's a card of something being displayed. You know, he is... He has great skill. Normally there are two people on the Three of Pentacles who are like appreciating the work that he has done on the Three of Pentacles. So it's a card of like displaying your skills or you know putting some sort of skill out into the world. I feel like I've been saying this to you for like a couple weeks now. The Nine of Pentacles is literally a card of your skills. She has these grapes behind her and grapes in the tarot represent something that requires a lot of skill to grow. So it's almost like there could be sudden wealth coming in for you and in that row it says sudden wealth, but you're gonna have to display display a skill. Maybe that's the egg that you have to break. Maybe you're afraid to public speak or you're afraid to, um, you know, maybe you do art and you're afraid to put it into the world. Maybe you want to do YouTube videos. It's like there is something here and this has been coming up for you for a couple weeks. It's like there's something here that needs to be displayed into the world uh, or projected into the world through your creation, which we literally see right here in your next row. You have this cosmic hatching. It says what you've been waiting for is ready. Be, um, is ready to be. Sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, your patience is about to be rewarded. There you go. You have us unlocking solutions through compromise. There's two cards of compromise here. Uh, you will create the successful outcome you are hoping for. So clearly there could be a need to compromise this week with either people or things in your life. Um, and I don't really feel this is like a compromise compromise. It's like, I, I think eventually you're gonna get what you want, but it's like maybe you were hoping your business makes a uh, million dollars this month. Maybe it makes a hundred thousand. It's like you're on your way, right? You're getting there. <laughs> and I kind of feel like that's what this is saying. It's like, just because you didn't get exactly what you wanted doesn't mean uh, that you're not gonna get there. And again, I think that's the type of compromise that this is talking about. And again, also the a cosmic egg just in general and like, um, you know, just the imagery of a cosmic egg is about something like, you know, being born into the world. And that's kind of what I feel here. It's like something like needs to be projected into the world, especially with this Ace of Wands. You have the Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Five of Swords. I do feel some of you are kind of like healing from past relationships or breakups or whatever. You could be going through something legal as well because we have um, the win-win situation. You also have the King of Swords. And, you know, King of Swords is always a clue to me of like law and order. So if you're dealing with something legal, that makes sense. There's a little bit of love here, but again, I feel like this reading is more talking about something that you are putting into the world just in general. So I would say that's more your focus this week anyway, is, you know, creation, creating something, um, something that uh, you're gonna put into the world. It could even be yourself. Like you could be recreating yourself. You could be reinventing yourself. Pluto, Venus, <laughs> right? Venus is like, you know, uh, Chris is, according to Chris's crappy astrology here, Venus is kind of like how p we present ourselves to the world in certain ways. You know, it's beauty. It's how uh, things that you think are beautiful. And so you could be literally doing things to make yourself more attractive. It does not have to be that. It could just be, you know, maybe you, uh, everybody sees you as like an author, but you wanna be a YouTuber or something like that. Like you could literally be um, changing the, your like label or how people perceive you. I don't know, this is like a pretty deep reading. Like I get a deep, you know, kind of transformation here as far as this is concerned. Uh, I feel like this new beginning is going to be built on a uh, much more solid foundation as well. Uh, you have this castle here on the Ace of Wands. That castle is meant to look like it's crumbling. And then you obviously have the Ace of Wands. It's, you know, this is the card of out with the old, in with the new. 
And so I definitely feel you're kind of like stepping into like some sort of new beginning or, you know, some sort of change. This has all been coming up for you for like weeks now. Uh, you have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's going to be much more successful as well. It has more weight to it as well, which is like popping into my head. It's like, you know, it's like I don't have really any good examples, but kind of like what's popping into my head is it's like, um, you know, if you have like a, you know, if, if you've ever, if a famous person, let's say this, let's put it this way. Like if a famous person were to try to sell something, you know, everybody would buy it, right? Whatever it is. You know, I'm sure you've seen this. So famous people sell stuff all the time. But if like a, a not famous person were to sell something, not very many people would buy it, right? It, that's what I mean by weight. It's like something that you're doing. It's I'm not saying you're becoming famous, but it's almost as if, um, the amount of attention that something is going to get in your life or like the amount of weight that you carry now is is much, much bigger. So I feel like, again, if you do anything that you want to present to the world or um, again, if you're like thinking about, um, you know, uh, reinventing yourself, it's almost like you're getting more clout. But I don't I don't even think that's the right word here. I hope this is making sense, but <laughs> that's what I'm feeling here, Virgo, for you. it's it, it kind of is clout, but it's not like you think, you know, it's not like we think about it. You know, it's not like Instagram famous or something like that. That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, you have the Judgment card. Um, you could just be waking up to your true purpose. The Judgment card, Hermit, this is you showing up here. You do have the Five of Cups, but he just needs to turn around, see these two cups, and then he gets this bridge in the castle. So I kind of feel like there's like a new beginning uh, coming in for you if you just are grateful for what you have. But with that Judgment card, it's like you're waking up. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, you have the Temperance card, literally a card of transformation. So there is clearly a significant transformation uh, going on for you right now. Uh, I also feel like you could be walking away from something, whatever you're walking away from. It could be a job or you know getting a new career or something like that. Literally, this is saying the transformation is gonna lead to more success. I mean, look, you have the Sudden Wealth card. Uh, with the Five of Swords, you have the Four of Cups, and some of you could be going through like a disappointment in love, something that didn't work together, you know, where there was no, uh, you know, teamwork or whatever. So we see just a little bit of love here at the end, Knight of Cups, you know, Knight of Cups would be a knight in shining armor or just someone you're attracted to. And again, I would say it's probably much more balanced or there's more equal give and take in whatever this is. Uh, next... Um, by the way, I haven't I haven't been saying what we're talking about. We're gonna look at the unexpected, and here you go. You have this wealthy man and this sudden wealth card like together. That's crazy. <laughs> so there's definitely abundance here. Nine of Pentacles, Empress, very abundant reading. Uh, some of you could be attracting a wealthy man if you're looking for love, or it could just be a wealthy person, whatever you're into. Again, I don't attach gender in these general readings, um, but again for the most part, I feel like this is you. I feel like you could be attracting more abundance. You know, I'm not suggesting that you're gonna be like a billionaire overnight, but maybe you're getting a job that pays you more money or you're being recognized for a skill. So again, for a lot of you, if you have some sort of skill, then I would say that you could be um, working on displaying that skill to the world. If you have a skill and you're not displaying it to the world, I would get started. I would start doing it because this reading is saying like, hey, this opportunity exists. You need to take advantage of it. And to me, that's all tarot is, is opportunities. People leave me all comments all the time. They're like, you said I was gonna make a billion dollars overnight with my skills and I haven't. I'm like, what'd you do? And they're always like, nothing. I'm like, exactly. Tarot can't do anything for you. It can't like lift things up and it's not magic. It can't magically get, bring people into your life. It's just like this energy exists. Take advantage of it right now. And that's what I would be doing. I, was, I would take advantage of this. You have the Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit. And the King of Swords. Again, the Hermit, he is he has his star in that lantern and he needs to shine that star bright. I always say that he needs to shine that star into the world. So, you know, it's kind of a card of, again, opening up, displaying things to the world or, you know, exposing something to the world. And that's exactly what I feel like you need to do here is like, you know, share something uh, with the world or, um, you know, it's uh, with that Three of Pentacles, it's like you're displaying your skills. So like now is the time. The King of Swords says that you have a lot of knowledge and wisdom. So it's like you've learned a lot <laughs> and now is the time to start uh, doing, you know, kind of like doing this. He also has that butterfly uh, like right above him right here. So again, I can't, I kind of get this feeling of you, um, you know, changing your label, uh, changing the way people see you, or maybe people see you as something, and now you're kind of being seen as something else. You know, maybe you, you it's like you're changing your identity in a certain way, but it keeps popping into my head as a label. Like maybe people see you as a nurse or, you know, a hairdresser or whatever you do, right? Doesn't matter. And I feel like you want to be seen as whatever, something else, something different. And uh, to me, this is like saying, when you start exercising your skills that you clearly have, which we see right here, Nine of Pentacles is all about abundance and success and just a lot of good stuff. 
Again, my only concern in this reading is the Seven of Cups here. Too, I've, I've just noticed throughout all the readings for like the past couple weeks, too much future thinking. Like I feel like people are stopping themselves from getting started on, you know, businesses or ideas or even new jobs or whatever because, you know, because of too much future thinking. It is popping into my head here. The reason I say it is because she has this falcon right on her hand right here. I think it's super important that we do what we can with what we got right now <laughs> because, you know, people keep saying like, oh, AI is going to steal all the jobs. Like, you know, I get all these comments about like AI and changes in the world and everything. I'm like, yeah, but it hasn't happened yet right now to your job or to whatever. It's like, we. so again, we really, I think we're in a time where we really have to double down on like what is working right now. And that's what I'm trying to say is like, could it change in the future? Absolutely. But if you double down on what's working, then you're gonna have like double the money. So then you're gonna have double the, it, hopefully amount of money saved in your bank account. So if something does happen, then you're protected. So again, that's why I keep telling people like, don't just like sit around and, and you know, think like, oh, hey, I shouldn't start a YouTube channel because AI is gonna take over YouTube or whatever. It's like, no, just get started. <laughs> just do it now. Because because you can, right? And, uh, you know, that's what I'd say there. Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Pentacles twice. So we kind of talked about this at the beginning of the reading, not getting started on something that you should, pro if it wants to focus, uh, not getting started on something that you should get started on. And, you know, I would like get moving here. Uh, that could be you. I kind of feel like that's your energy. You have a lot of knights now. With the Hermit, you have the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is like rushing information. I also keep telling people like, we have to move fast and slow. I know that sounds confusing and trust me, I get plenty of comments about that, about like, how I, I tell people like they have to get started, but also not to rush. And people think that those two things can't work together, but they can. What I'm saying is, is like we have to take those steps to get started on a project that we wanna get started on, but we should be taking those, like looking for those like 1% improvement type improvements. And I know that doesn't sound sexy, but it's like over time, that 1% will add up like crazy, right? And in, in those 1% improvements will add up much bigger than if you try to take these big, huge leaps towards like whatever it is that you want, right? So that's what I mean when I say, like we have to move fast, meaning we have to get started like now <laughs> and slow, meaning we have to take our time. We can't skip steps. We, there are no magic bullets. There are no easy buttons right now, right? And so that's what, that's like the slow part. Uh, with the King of Swords, you have the King of Cups here. Yeah, it could be love coming in for you. It could be a water sign for sure. I mean, you have the Knight of Cups here and the King of Cups. Um, you know, I would also say that, you know, for some of you, this could represent a move or you could be thinking about moving as well. So there you go. Uh, next, you have uh, th the last row here is going to represent the good stuff. You have this beginner syndrome. It says dreading the beginner phase stops you from getting to a higher level. So again, I feel like you need to just get started. I don't even think you're a beginner, but you might, maybe you have a skill that you wanna present to the world, or maybe you wanna go get a job based off a skill that you have. And you could be fearing like, oh, I'm, I don't know enough, but I actually think you do. So I would get moving. It says, remember that every be every beginner grows into an expert, King of Swords, with enough practice and persistence. So it's time to keep moving. You have this relying on luck card. It says, continue, uh, counting on luck for your success instead of making your own luck. Yes, I mean, we are in a time. I've literally said it uh, a million times. I literally said, you know, like years ago, we had that, uh, the the first like billion dollar um, lottery, right? And I like, again, I wish I wish I saved these things because in that video, I said, we are gonna see this happen a bunch of times because we are not in a lucky time. And so, and people are like, what do you mean? A billion dollars is luck. Yeah, I'm like, yes, but it's like never in history have lotteries gone this high. Why do you think that is? Because nobody's winning. <laughs> That's why. And it's like, you know, there have been several billion dollar lotteries since that time, right? And I'm not suggesting that you play a lottery either, but you know, we have to create our own luck. Again, you know, it's not necessarily a lucky time. There are, you know, of course, moments of luck as always, but you know, it, it's like what is lucky right now is creating your own luck, is putting yourself in situations where you can, uh, you know, get lucky, where you can get the things that you want. So again, squeaky wheel gets the grease. I keep telling people, it's like, we're gonna find the things that we want in unusual ways. It's like, you know, if you want a job, for example, you should be doing things like, you know, go to a job fair or go 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 to, maybe there's a, um, like, an event or a conference or something based off the job you have. Like those are the ways that we're gonna get the things we want. It's not necessarily gonna be like applying for our dream job and getting it. It's probably, it might be an indirect way. Start a YouTube channel talking about your dream job. Like there's a big one, right? Cause then if someone is looking for what you do, then they might find you on YouTube and it, it's happened a million times. So it's like, take advantage of it, but take advantage of like these random opportunities. Same thing in love as well. It's like, you're not gonna find a person sitting on your couch as I've been saying for like years now. Uh, you have the Knight of, uh, Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Five of Cups. 
Again, what, what I will say is with the Five of Cups, maybe you're disappointed in love. So you might not even be looking for love just in general. Although with the Five of Cups, we have to turn around and see these two cups behind you here because that leads to this bridge and this castle over here. So I do feel there could be love coming in for you. And it could be very secure as well with that uh, castle on the card. It represents security. But I do feel like you have to let go of whatever this is right here, some sort of disappointment. You have the Knight of Cups. Could be a Knight in Shining Armor. But again, Knight of Cups, he is uh, maybe dreaming. He's normally looking into that cup and he's got this water in front of him. All he has to do is, you know, plant seeds by that water, even though he's in the desert and they will grow. And what do you know, this guy right here, he also has to plant seeds. He has to uh, start planting in those fields behind him. He has more than enough knowledge. So again, anything that you're thinking of doing, I would just get the wheels moving in that direction you know, whatever it is. It's like, maybe you want to move, just start, um, you know, getting moving in that direction. You have the Queen of Pentacles popping out there, uh, which could just be, you know, kind of like you showing up, but you have a lot of Pentacles cards. Could be an Earth sign coming in for you, which I think you always get an Earth sign in love. With the Knight of Pentacles, yes, you will have the whole world in your hands. This is an accomplishment. So there's like some sort of big accomplishment coming in for you, but you have to put the work in here, Virgo. So, you know, it's definitely time to create your own luck. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, you have the Ace of Cups. Hmm, you know, like I said, love, but you know, uh, I'm, I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> you know, if I'm being honest, uh, you know, maybe it's just that you're not looking for it at this time. So again, to me, love is always available to us. I always say, if I go to the store right now, and if I, if I asked every single person out in the store, I guarantee you one person would say yes. So, you know, it's like one of those things. We can always find love, but whether we want it or not, that's a different story. And, um, you know, so again, I feel like there could be love. You might be interested in a person, but just, you know, it just might be one of those weeks where it just isn't, you know, it's just not a love week, right? With the Five of Cups, you have the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. Again, this is the good stuff, so it's going to be good no matter what, and it looks to me that you could be uh, setting yourself free from something like a disappointment that has kept you stuck. So, you know, if you've been stuck in uh, sadness or because of a breakup or a separation or something, it looks to me like you could be setting yourself free. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes now. You have this misfortune card. I'm telling you right now, it wouldn't surprise me if there was some sort of major event this week because of Pluto opposing Venus this week. So, and I, I'm talking about the week of the 15th. Today is the 16th, but you catch my drift. And, you know, tomorrow, this video will be out on the 17th, but you know, it wouldn't surprise me if over, you know, this week or even the beginning of the next week, there's some sort of event in the world, some sort of tower moment, like a world leader stepping down or, you know, who the hell knows what. Uh, you have this melancholy card. I feel like this is what you have to pull yourself out of. I think everybody feels this way right now, just kind of like, woe is me <laughs> type of energy. And we all have to kind of like pick ourselves up. So, you know, I don't think it's like good or bad. I just think it's a sign of the times, right? Uh, you have this Lord card. Look at this fancy person here. Definitely could be attracting a person who's very successful, uh, who's probably like a leader. And it, again, any gender, it's a dude on this card, but it could be a dudette or, you know, whatever, you, an alien, whatever you're into, Bigfoot. I don't care what you date, just, you know, as long as you're happy, right? And what I would say here is that I feel this could be a person coming in for you. Uh, you have this uh, death card. Um, some I, I think this is death to your old label. Like I said, you're changing who you are. It's going to lead to sudden wealth probably. And uh, what do you know? You have this money card as well. Definitely, I feel you are increasing your earnings or increasing the amount of money you make. You could be seeing a big boost uh, at this time. So uh, love this reading. I feel like you're going in the right direction, especially if you're making some sort of change. So uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.